Okay, so finally, let's get into the naming convention of folders and kind of give you some suggested naming conventions for organizing your media before you start a product, before you start editing. All right, so first of all, I have this folder. This is the general production folder. I'm gonna kind of show you the workflow here for uh, your media and folder organization here. I'm gonna open this up, and these have already been kind of organized, and uh, this is the way I did it on an earlier production with a, with a short film, where we had day one, day two, we had like up to like 10 days, it was kind of a larger short film that we worked on. But I'm kind of acting like these are being put into the folder as the, the production is being done here. So instead of day one, uh, the way, now this is the way I was instructed by DIT to do, do the, the organization for these folders here. You're just gonna do it by, uh, by the actual date. You'll put the year first, and then you put the month next, and then you put the day afterwards. And that way these uh, folders will show up in alphanumerical order, and the earliest year date is the one that will show up first underneath, the, underneath this folder structure here. And this was back a while ago, so this is uh, July 2nd, uh, 2015. So I'm gonna hit enter here, and I'm going to re rename this, and this is the way the folder structure should be numbered. So I'm gonna put 2015, and you don't put any slashes or underscore on this, you just put it straight up across the board, it's the same amount of numbers every time, the month, which will be July, so 07 and 02. And it keeps the same amount of numbers, and immediately that is just code for, this is 2015, this is 2015, July 2nd. This one was on July 9th, so I'm gonna rename this one, 2015. 07, 09. So that automatically equals day one, and this is going to be naturally day two, day three, and everything else. But now you have the exact date on it as well. Now underneath each one of these, you're gonna have two major folders, and this was very similarly structured. You're gonna have one, they usually name it footage. I named it film, but uh, they will na usually name it footage, and these are usually in all caps as well. So we're gonna rename this one audio in all caps, and this one footage in all caps. That one's not going to be there, because that would be organized under a folder. Now a very specific uh, way of doing footage is if you have A cam and B cam here. And actually they will uh, abbreviate this by doing uh, cam underscore A, and then the next one will be cam underscore B. So if you have two cameras on set that are shooting at the same time, or if you have an A unit ca camera and then you have a B unit cam, this will be the same thing. Now these ones will be very slated very specifically in that re in that regard. And I'm going to show you this. I'm going to import it into Premiere and show you. And the person who organized this actually put, organized the footage by scene numbers. Now this is kind of weird because sometimes you got to be a little careful here because sometimes on one roll or one card, you're going to shoot more than one scene number. This didn't happen to be the case on that day, and I think they corrected it later on. Yeah, so, so you don't need to put scene four because that's going to be put on the shots with the actual slate as you're shooting under this this footage. So that's a little bit of redundant information that you need that you don't need there. So rather than scene four, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the card number. So under cam A here, I'm going to double click and I'm going to put a new folder here. And this one was called Roll One. And if it, and if you're using like a Sony camera and you're not capable, like if you're using a smaller camera and you're not able to number the actual card as it's shooting on that card as these numbers, you just can look at the footage. You can take a quick look at the footage and see what the shots were. Here's one example here under Cam B. They use a Black Magic camera and they did not number the card as such. So you open so you open up the footage and you look at at the roll number here. And there was a slight specific there was a slight specifically for A camera and B camera. They had two cameras shooting at once on the set here. So this is Roll One for B camera. They put a B there to be very specific on that so that this we know that this slate is for camera A or, or that this slate is specifically for camera B. So that is roll one here. And that way, see, they don't have any information. They're telling me that. I can just look at the footage and immediately I can tell that that is roll B. But going back to camera A here, I didn't name my folder. So I'm going to name this folder the same number as the roll number. The, that, that's the actual card number. So the card number for this is going to be, because on the same day, we could have used like two different, we could have used, we could have uh, filled up one card and then started shooting on another card. So that would be two rolls basically. So this one is A001 is the name of the card. And then we grab all the media that belongs in that, that card there. All the information, you move the whole card over, just not the media, and drag it over to this folder there. And now that's the way that's going to be named there. So I'm going to delete this folder, don't need it. And scene 14, let's see what roll number this is on. See, and this was on roll number two for the A camera. So A camera and roll 002. So I'm going to make a folder in here, A002. Grab the footage out of that, everything that belongs off that roll. Drop that in there. And when I remember what I'm saying, roll, I mean card as well. I'm using those names synonymously. And there is the proper uh, structure for the footage right there. Let's do the same for camera B. Make a new folder. And this was B001, because that's B camera. I'm going to grab all the footage out of this one, drag and drop that into the B folder, and get rid of that folder. Okay, so I've done that to the footage. Let's do, now let's show you the audio. So audio and footage are the names of the folders here. I'm going to move this down. And this was roll one for the audio card. There's only one card for the entire day here. So I'm going to open up this folder. And the way they named uh, the name audio cards will be as such. You do A-U-D for audio, underscore 
zero zero one. Not sure whether you use that naming convention, but obviously there's a distinction be now between the what are audio folders and camera folders. And this one's audio, and it was just that A001, that's the A camera, B001 is the B camera, and so on. So I can just grab this whole folder and grab all the audio files out of this folder here, drag and drop that into there, delete that folder, and now I have all my audio under this folder right there. So I'm just going to do the same quickly under this folder here. We've got the, the, the proper date. This is day two. So this is day one. This is day two. And we're going to name this one audio. We're going to name this one footage. Now I'm going to organize this stuff as well. And I'll come right back and show you the whole workflow here that we have going for day one and day two. Okay, so there we go. Everything is organized. And let's show you this workflow here. You've got, uh, first of all, the production folder. Then you have day one, day two with the date, with the year, month, and day. I'm going to arrow this down. And we look at the audio. And under the audio, we have the one audio card named AUD underscore 001 for the first card. They only used one card that day. For the footage, we had three different uh, cards that day. We have camera A and camera B and two cards under uh, camera A. So cam underscore A. And we've got A001 with all the media put into that folder. And then A002. So we're ca camera A, roll one. Camera A, roll two. Under camera B, we've got just one roll. And that was B001. Roll one card for camera B. Now here's the second day. As we arrow down the second day here, we've got our audio, general audio, and footage folders. And under audio, we've got the audio uh, roll two card. So we had one audio. Now look how this is here. This, these are two different days, and you don't reset and start doing uh, the, the first roll of the day. These have very distinct numbers throughout the entire production. So you will never name another card uh, audio 001. That one has its name, so now we move on to the next card, which is audio 002. Same with the camera. The one that we ended on on camera A was card 002. So under the footage here, we've got camera A, camera B wasn't used that day. So camera A, so we've got roll three, four, and five. They had three different rolls that they used on that one day, but no camera B. So as we come back the next day and start shooting again, uh, if camera A picks up, camera A will pick up on 006, and camera B will pick up on 002 on the new day if they use camera B that day. And that way you keep everything all organized, everything's in its unique folder, and there's a very and there's a very professional workflow used by a lot of DITs out there. So anyway, and a couple other folders they might have in here as well would be uh, things like uh, still images. If there's somebody taking still images, they'll do a still image folder and keep things organized in there in a very similar fashion. And also and also uh, paperwork as well. As like if there are uh, reports and documents that are being uh, kept throughout the day and being handed off to the DIT, they'll put those into uh, a separate folder for the day called something like uh, paperwork or a separate folder called reports or paperwork. So that's really about it. I just wanted to quickly show what's going to happen. I will have a separate episode on this later on importing and organizing media. But now this would be the job of, a, of an assistant editor where they're going to hit the import or go into the folder, go under the day that they're going to import as the new day is handed to them, and they can just check mark the footage and check mark the audio and import and then hit import and it will import, import all the footage. They'll import all the media, and it will not put them in individual folders, which is fine because what the assistant editor is going to do, because these fold, because these shots could contain different scene numbers, and those scene numbers will go into specific scene folders uh, rather than uh, day folders. It's going to be organized by scene. And like I said, I'm going to have a future episode on this. So the assistant editor will go through each one of those clips, double-click on that, and look at this here, and that is uh, named... Uh, scene four, take one. That's about the only bit of information. The editor does not need to know, need to know what role this was on. Uh, that's just for organizational purposes if you need to find specific footage. So I'm going to name this four, take one, and that shot's been renamed. But now keep in mind, I did not re rename the original file to kind of bring this full circle here. I right-click on that, reveal in Finder or reveal in Explorer on a PC, and it brings it open and notice the original file is not renamed. It is just, it's, it's its original name there, but this is now referencing that footage and I've renamed it within the software. So I'm going to continue going through each one of these and then organize these. I'm going to sync and merge the audio and put them into scene folders. And like I said, I'm going to have an episode on that coming up uh, rather soon here. So. so the next shot is scene four, A, take one. Let's make sure this take one. Yep, take one. All right, so that episode was basically on moving your footage over backing it up, using a checksum software to back up your footage, make sure it's uh, mirrored on, on at least uh, two other different hard drive in two different locations, and the naming convention and workflow for organizing uh, your media to, to come off as very professional rather than just kind of amateurs and shoving everything in there and, and, and fishing through your footage trying to find it. All right, well, thanks for watching that, and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know.